Hi everyone! Welcome back to our YouTube channel and for today's video, I'm going to share with you the process on how I sublimate mugs like this, this one, and this one. And also how I pack them with this window type of boxes. So if you want to know more about the process of sublimation and everything in between, just keep on watching this video and if you haven't subscribed on our channel yet, please consider subscribing. All right, so we already made our design. By the way, we actually made our design via Canva. So this is as per client's request. So we made the name design on the mugs and uh, as per client request, so it's a name meaning. I just Googled the meaning of the name. So you can just type any name, whatever, <laughs> your name and uh, any design and then just do it in Canva and uh the template for the template is uh, actually it's a mug wraparound mug template and uh, the other design is for a mom of boys so i added as per the client's request i added the boy's name and then the name of the mom and there and then i just downloaded it via png so you already know what to do with that it's canva it's very easy to follow it's very easy to use so just download it in PNG and then I just transfer the design here in uh, my Google Docs and um, for the sizing the height must always be 3.75 inches this one and uh, we're going to print this using our sublimation printer as well as a uh, sublimation paper so let's go ahead and print it so by the way I'm using my MacBook Air this can be used if you are using an Epson printer. So Epson, I'm using Epson L121 sublimation printer for this one. So let's print. Let's just go to our sublimation printer. So just choose your sublimation printer if you have different printers that you are using. So page 3 because that's the only page that we wanted to print. And then A4. For the quality 720 dpi so don't forget to put the page number sometimes i take that mistake <laughs> so page three to three just one page for that and uh, size a4 and then printer options you have to make sure at the print settings this is the settings of my printer is based on the laptop or computer that i'm using since i'm using a macbook air so that's how the settings works. But if I'm going to use my Windows Mac, uh, my Windows laptop, it's on a different setting. There's a different settings that you can see. So just plain papers because there's nothing here. <laughs> there's nothing in there. So let's use a high quality. And since this is sublimation, we have to make sure that the image will be mirrored when printed. Because if not, you're screwed up. You have to print another one. So we're going to put on mirror image and then click on OK. And of course, we're going to print it using our sublimation paper. So let's get our sublimation paper. This is our sublimation paper. I'm using Quaff. I'm going to put the link as well in the description box. So if you live here in the Philippines, you can buy it from Shopee. I always buy my supplies via Shopee because everything seems to be there. <laughs> All right, so we're going to print it now. Just click on print. So another tip, don't you ever forget to mirror your image. Again, if you are doing a sublimation project, always, always, always mirror your image when printing. So let's just wait. It's now printing using our sublimation printer. All right, so I was able to put one of the designs on a mug. Here it is, but I'm going to show you how to do it. So again, I'm using a Quaff brand of sublimation coated mug. Here it is. So make sure that if you wanted to print on mugs, if you wanted to do sublimation on mugs, make sure to buy a sublimation coated mug. Because if you won't buy that type of mug, you won't be able to print on your mugs. Okay, so there you can use a lint roller to remove dust or whatever dirt. It's there in your mug. And then 
we just have to cut the design I'm just gonna show you I'm just gonna put this sometimes I also cut the designs just to make sure that they will be put centered on our mugs and then we're gonna use this heat resistant tape so make sure you're going to use a heat resistant tape because if you're not using a heat resistant tape it will burn during the heat pressing of the mugs so there this is the design it's mirrored as you can see so we're gonna put it here at the center of the mug and we're gonna put the heat resistant tape so make sure that the design is there centered and mirrored <laughs> again I always say mirror again because sometimes people do it by mistake they forget to mirror the image so there and then let's put the other design here the back part of the design so I'm doing a name meaning design as well here on this mug but since I am gifting this to someone so I am putting my logo the module printing logo since it's a gift it's not purchased so there so this is the name meaning so we're gonna put it here in the middle of the mug All right and then let's just put some heat transfer tape Then, like what I mentioned I'm gonna put my logo here at the center since this is a mug gift so if you're gifting someone if you're if you own a business always put your logo <laughs> it's a kind of marketing strategy there and then just put again heat resistant tape So this mug is ready to be heat pressed. I'm going to repeat the process with the other mugs remaining that I have here. And then we're going to preheat our heat press machine. Alright, I'm so sorry I keep on saying heat press <laughs> because I was heat pressing shirts the other day. But this is a mug press. So the brand is Kui. I'm also going to put the link on the description box. So if you're interested to do it. With your printing business, you can buy and try it for yourself. I was actually aiming for the Cricut Mug Press, but it's the budget is too... The, the amount or the price is so high. It's like 11 k for the Mug Press, the Cricut Mug Press. And uh, I decided to just buy this one. This is a lot more cheaper than that. So let's turn it on. There's a button here at the back. And let's just wait for it to preheat before we put our mugs all right so I normally use 185 or uh, 190 degrees Celsius for my mug press at uh, 180 seconds so there we're going to put our mug inside and it's automatic once you put down the lever of the mug press it will the counter will automatically start or the timer <laughs> will automatically start so let's put on our mug here be careful because it's too hot now there as you can see when I put down the lever so the timer started and uh, it will beep once it's done all right so it beeped now since it's done and let's remove our mug and of course we cannot remove the sublimation paper yet so let's just let it cool for some minutes like 10 to 15 minutes let's just put another mug in here so make sure that it's 
totally cooled off when you peel or when you remove the sublimation paper because it's really burning hot so you have to be very very careful and uh, make sure that if you have kids they're not around when you do it because the smell of the sublimation ink is not too nice for the kids all right so i think all of them are cold enough so let's then remove the papers the sublimation paper so let's peel it like this there you have it look at the design it's so nice as long as you make sure that you print it in high quality setting and there is my logo all right so this is the mug that i printed that i made uh as i've mentioned earlier i put on my business logo my online shop logo because this is a gift so i make sure to always put my logo if i'm giving something as a gift to people and then let's get the other one this one is an order from a client so let's get it let's peel it <laughs> Also prepared my boxes so this is a window type box so when I whenever I put it here I make sure to put the design at the window there and then to seal it just close it like this there and then I can put a sticker here so I'm gonna show you later once I put the stickers as well. inside these boxes and as I've mentioned I'm going to put as well these stickers it's a mama owned business <laughs> right, so we're gonna put it here so just make sure the front design is uh, there at the window part of the box
sublimation mug orders and gifts for today's video. I hope you've learned how to sublimate the sublimation process, the materials needed to sublimate mugs, and uh, thank you so much for watching this video. See you on our next craft with Mamayan videos. Bye!